How's it going guys and welcome back to Dip Discovery and today in this video we're going to be looking at the Stublin Co Roll Top Backpack so let's have a look at it. Okay, so Stubble & Co is a UK based uh, company which uh, make all types of different backpacks and stuff like that uh, for commuting, traveling, you know, um, just uh, daily use. So I recommend checking them out, the link's in the description. Uh, this is one I bought for myself um, online uh, from their website on a sale. Um, so um, we're gonna have a look at it because there's not many videos about this backpack or this brand on YouTube, so I thought it'll help you guys out. So yeah, Stubble & Co, that's the, uh, the, the, the name of the brand. Uh, when you get it delivered, um, it actually comes in um, a recyclable, uh, sustainable kind of paper kind of packaging which is really nice um, but you actually get the bag in this nice little uh, felt kind of uh, ziplock bag as well which is quite cool so if we just open this up and uh, then we can pull this out so you get the bag itself in there and we've also got your receipt and you have a little uh, Sublin Co kind of Instagram handle intro branding in there as well which will kind of introduce you to the brand so yeah pretty pretty cool stuff um so yeah here is the bag so this is the roll top now they do this in two sizes they do a 14 liter and a 20 liter the one i've gone for is a 20 liter um, i plan on using this primarily when i'm on my motorbike because um, I, and what that's what kind of attracts me to the stubble and co one because i wanted a roll top which is waterproof um, which is what the, I mean, it's not really waterproof, they don't say it's waterproof, but it is water resistant because um, it's got, uh, it's made out of this kind of rubber -y material, um, uh, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So, so yeah, here's a, let's take a look at it. Okay, so the front of the backpack here, um, you've got the little roll top clasp there, which is really cool, um, and it just kind of rolls over and kind of clips on. Um, you've also got on the sides here, um, some big pockets where you can actually fit um, a water bottle but it also allows you to fit in um, uh, maybe like a small tri action tripod that you want to carry around as well and it's got these kind of adjustable straps here which allow you to tighten things to it and um, you know expand or you know have it looser or what have you to secure it in place which is kind of co good to see. You've also got the front here this um, a front zip pocket here the good thing about the zip pocket inside is it's actually orange inside so it's high visibility which is really cool um, and then you've got quite a decent sized pocket in there where you could chuck things inside and grab out quickly uh, the zip itself is actually a water resistant zip so they don't say it's a waterproof bag they say it's water resistant which makes sense because um, you know if you are going to get any rain on this kind of stuff because of this material itself is it is kind of a waterproof material Material, so it is going to repel water really easily which is really good um, on the bottom here you've got a, a more kind of tough kind of feeling material it's a bit more padded so obviously if you are putting it down and picking it back up on the ground hopefully it should last a bit longer and this is actually a high uh, viz uh, logo as well so it'll reflect um, you know uh, light as it gets sh shone on it if you are having it on your back in the in, uh, and they got you got car lights on it um, if we move over to the back, you can see that you've got really nice padding here on the back as well in the shape of the logo. It is quite thick, so it's quite comfy when you have it on. Um, and you've got these nice uh, straps here, which again have reflective uh, material on the edges of the straps. Um, you've also got a nice little sternum strap buckle as well to, to keep it secure to you, which is quite important for me when I'm on my motorbike, you kind of want... Um, the sternum strap on so you don't have these kind of falling off in the wind and then it's kind of you've got one loose strap so the sternum trap is a must good thing about the sternum trap as well it is adjustable on these little straps here you can actually move them up and down uh, to get the right fit for you uh, which is a good thing to see and of course obviously you've got your your normal kind of uh uh, you know straps here at the bottom to kind of make the uh, the backpack tighter or, or, or what have you on the inside of the strap it is padded as well on the outside you've got the water resistant material on the top of the bag here we've got this nice handle here that you can use to just quickly pick it up and pull it around 
Another thing on the back here is we have a laptop compartment here as well. So if you just unzip that huge zip there, you get access to the laptop compartment, which is completely padded on both sides of the compartment. And again, it is in that high vis orange uh, material so you can really clearly see what's going on there and you can comfortably fit a 15 inch laptop in there um, easy enough and it'll still be comfortable because of the padded back and front. Um, so let's have a look at the inside of the backpack, let's open it up. You've got this nice little buckle here at the top which uh, is really simple to operate. You can adjust the length of the buckle as well using this cable, uh, not cable, sorry, the strap, and you can also put it on the two different hook points there, depending on how tight you want it. Um, it has two unfolds and then the roll top kind of comes out like that. Um, and then once you kind of want to close it back up, you just kind of roll it down like that, dead easy, and then you just hook on the, uh, uh, the, the hook you know, like that, so it's quite easy to kind of figure out where you want it. So it depends on how full your actual backpack is, how much you're gonna, you're gonna fill it up, really. So if we open the thing up here and we have a look inside, you've got a really big opening because it's a roll top, and the good thing about it is the entire opening is a orange high-vis opening, which is really, really good. Um, and um, it makes it easy to, to find everything in there as well because some black backpacks have got black interiors as well and just makes it annoying to try and find something like a cable or something that's black as well. So I'm glad that that went with the high vis opening. If we have a closer look at the inside, we can see that we've got two mesh pockets in black which allows you to quickly throw in something like maybe a, a mobile phone charger um, or some cables or whatever you want to kind of quickly put in there, maybe some documents, something like that. We've also got an interior zip pocket as well, which, um, you know, is about, what, what did I say, about 20 centimetres wide and it allows you to put some quick uh, documents. It's not too deep in there. Um, and then the rest of it is quite self-explanatory. It's just like a, a normal bag opening, you know, space to kind of use. So you've got two pockets and a zip pocket in the interior with that high vis orange. All right, so I'll just put the uh, backpack on for you so you get an idea of how it looks like when it's on. Now I've just kind of put a couple of boxes inside it to um, pack it out a little bit um, so it's not completely flat. But yeah, that's the kind of uh, uh, how it looks like when it's on. And I've got quite a big puffy jacket on now. It's perfectly kind of comfortable kind of jacket uh, backpack there. So. It is quite a nice looking backpack, you know, quite a, a nice kind of simple design, traditional roll top kind of style. And it'll look at home on your motorbike as well, depending on what style you're kind of going for. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Um, like I said, you know, I'm going to be using it for um, basic kind of commuting and stuff like that. Uh, one thing I did uh, notice is when I had my helmet on and I kind of went back with the helmet the uh, the top of uh, the back of my helmet was hitting the um, uh, the handle at the top of the bag so I've had to uh, adjust the straps so I, I can have a little bit of leeway so that isn't touching my uh, helmet as I'm kind of moving it around that's something to bear in mind but also just the straps it's not a bit it's fine you know I just moved it a bit lower and um, the sternum strap again I've got this kind of, I think it's on its like lowest setting by the looks of it. Yeah, it's on its lowest setting. So and that's kind of where it sits. So it does sit quite high. You know, I probably would have preferred it if it was more like kind of around, around here, but it's not uncomfortable or anything. And it keeps it in place and it, and it does, a, does a good job. And that's pretty much it really, so I hope you like my video showing you the Stubble & Co Roll Top Backpack, the 20 litre version. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let us know, I'll be happy to try and answer them. If you want to know where to get the backpack, there's a link in my uh, description and in the comment below. And please drop us a like and subscribe if you found the video useful, and I'll catch you on the next one.